Hello! Today I'm going to be looking at a Dell Dimension XPS T500. It's a Pentium 3 based motherboard with a 500MHz processor. It was 128MB of RAM when it was originally launched and included Windows 98 and Office 97. First sold in March 1999, the T450 and T500 were Dell's first Pentium 3 machines with a premium price to match. The $1,999 is equivalent to around $3,500 today. Um, I'm going to do my usual. Um, it, this is pretty grim and dusty, this machine. Inside is an absolute horror. As you can probably just make out some of the dirt and dust. Um, once I've cleaned it up, we'll talk about it a bit more. Okay, so I've taken the side panel off and I've also taken the CPU cover off so we can see that in a second. So around the back we have our normal ports that we'd expect to see on this type of motherboard where a reasonable amount is included, a couple of USB and a sound card. The graphics is a separate AGP slot and there's an additional network card being added to this machine. Internally um, as I say, I've taken the cover off the CPU so we can see that and it's the uh, original Pentium slot processor. This is a Pentium 3 uh, 500. So this would have been uh, the first of the Pentium 3 processors as the Pentium 2's topped out at 450. So I'm going to have to replace the battery on this as well as it's dead. It's hardly a surprise as this machine is more than 20 years old now and to get 20 years uh, of uh, power out of a battery is pretty good going. So that wasn't unexpected. Um, every machine I've had, I've had to replace the uh, battery on. Um, I've gone through a lot of machines recently and I've used all my batteries. So uh, I'm going to need to pop to the shops a little bit later today and see if I can pick up some more batteries for this. Okay, so I've disassembled the Dell unit. We can see the plastic cases on the left, just here. The bottom and top of the plastic case has sat on top there. And obviously this is the metal uh, case for the machine itself. There's a CD-ROM drive, a hard drive and a floppy drive. There's some memory, a graphics card and a network card. The power supply, let's get my finger back more in focus, power supply is here, processor fan and processor and obviously the main motherboard itself. So let me get this all reassembled and then we'll have another look. Okay so it's all back together now. So I've moved the network card down a few slots, graphics card is in, I've put the 256 memory slot in, I've left the 64 out. Processor is covering its fan rule in, power supply is in, CD-ROM is in, floppy drive is in and the hard drive is in. I've also tidied up the cables as best I can. Um, overall it's looking very clean and tidy now as you can see. It's all been cleaned, all been washed and polished so this is about as good as I'm going to get. Ready to load up with Windows 98 and Office 97. Okay, so the unit's all back together now. I've changed the BIOS battery, so it's time to boot it and to set up the relevant settings such as times and dates.
Okay, so most things are installed now, i.e. the operating system, but there'll be a load of drivers that are missing, so let's just go and see what we need to go and find. That is the Dell XPS T500, now ready for a new home. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe, maybe even press like. Most importantly, leave me a comment. I don't get that many and I like to know what people think about these videos.